Creation with stress is really hard. Usually it doesn't happen. In the stress of our lives, the creation process is really stopped because we're in the struggle for life, right? We're in the struggle to try and figure out the next even step, the next even breath. For many of us in domestic violence, in any kind of abuse, whether it's verbal, emotional, um, spiritual, whatever the abuse is, it's oppressive and it stems our creation. This is a little, you know, kind of a cheap thing from wherever it is, but it represents fall, fall time, and some type of creation, right? Somebody had to make this in order for it for someone else to purchase it to have it. We've got the little wire, we've got some wood, of course we've got the raffia, all this kind of stuff, right? And however um, your creation might be, for myself, I had fabric, I had buttons, I had some floss, I had um, some hot glue, and a few wooden pieces. And there was a point in the amount of stress that was happening that I took one day and I pulled out a sewing machine. Now, I knew how to sew like a straight line. And I had mountains of this blue, really tough fabric. Halloween was coming. And my children needed something from mom. I needed something other than to focus on all the stress and the abuse and what was going to happen next. And I disconnected. And I grabbed my sewing machine and I just started. And I created three costumes that I was able to get when we escaped. And those three costumes, they're called the Blue Dragons. The Blue Dragons. I still have them. Every time I pull them out, I remember the place, the smell, how long it took me to sew all of those, and just this intense piece of creativity was happening. I grabbed three old shirts that my kids had. They were even in the grab bag. Pulled them out, started the sewing, sewed the tail, sewed the fins. I even made hats with dragon ears. Anything I could do to become creative. In the midst of our stressful lives, if we don't have an escape somewhere, it will oppress us to the point of breaking. So I encourage you, no matter where you are, find some place, some, something that you can focus on to create. Creation allows your mind to just develop in a way that is powerful. And it clears the mind of so many tough things. For me, it was a saving grace that I was able to survive through the winter. So whenever you are in that type of thing, in the oppression of the stress, try to disconnect and find some way to create. Your life will be so improved. If you want to know more about this, contact me at my website, and let's do some one-on-one -on -one coaching to see how else I can help you wherever you are at in your healing from domestic violence.